So 2030 is a particularly important year for us to be aiming for because effectively, if we don't get going now, we won't have got the solutions in chain to make a difference in the time frame that really matters. Uh, if we look at the international targets for conservation, they are about uh, getting 30% of land and sea restored um, uh, for wildlife by 2030. Now, if we're going to achieve anything towards that, it means getting going now, this year, you know, ramping up next year and you know, maintaining momentum and doing more and more towards 2030. That's the latest we've got to really kind of save the, uh, the ecosystems on which we rebuild the ecosystems on which we depend as, as humans. So the conservation sector in the UK, I think, has been uh, held back by a bit of lack of ambition um, because the frameworks we're working within are, are so difficult. You know, the, the uh, legal frameworks we're working with are, are quite antiquated. Um, uh, there's a lot of things which tell you what you can't do. Um, and the Wilds Building Project is, is the antithesis of that. It's about demonstrating by doing showing that we can take ambitious action that's scalable in the UK. And it's providing people with you know, that, that case study to work with. It's also about advocating off the back of what we are doing, uh, talking about the difficulties that we, we are facing and openly having dialogue with, with things like regulators um, to make sure that we can overcome these things and do more of this kind of ambitious wilding activity at a much larger scale across the UK based off a successful case study. So I think the great thing about um, the Wild Bean Project is that we have got a talismanic uh, flagship species that's got a lot of charisma at the heart of it. So the, the project really isn't about the bison, it's about uh, changing the system of conservation in the UK. But to do that, we need to get people behind us. And as much as I sometimes kind of wonder what these stats mean, uh, its reach has been in the, mil in the sort of nine billion type uh, f uh, uh, figures. Um, which is insane for, a, for a, a county wildlife trust project. But it's because it's got real resonance and the bison speak to people and it, it becomes emotive and they want to see us succeed. So um, by starting with something like the bison, you know, and not starting with, say, a wolf, which would be much more controversial and put us against landowners in the UK, we're starting with something that people can really get behind and be supportive of.